as a Puerto Rican, we enjoy a lot of family traditions that are still present in my uh, current life. And my favorite one is the parrandas. This is an activity that we do uh, during Christmas. Essentially, it entails gathering, the gathering of friends and family in one house where we um, share a meal or share appetizers and drinks and, and music and we dance and we sing. And once we're done in the house for let's say an hour, then we decide on going and taking that into another friend's house. And once we're, we're there, we do the same thing. We go into another uh, friend's house until we, many times we spend the whole night just um, singing, dancing, drinking, eating, and being together. Um, I, when I moved to North Carolina, I missed that so much that I decided on creating a party called El Parrandón, which really um, portrayed the tradition without having to break in and during the night. I think we would have gotten ourselves in trouble had we done that. But anyways, people in our community there really enjoyed the tradition and the fun and the human connection. When I reflect on my childhood and the traditions that we held in our Hispanic home, I am immediately taken back to holidays at my Theo's house. The home was filled to the brim with family and I can still smell the lechon and arroz con frijoles. I can hear the laughter and salsa music playing in the background. I see the joyful faces of all those family members dancing with me, teaching me how to salsa. And to this day, I know that if I hear Celia Cruz, I will A, be filled with the same happiness I felt as a child during those holidays, and B, definitely have the itch to dance a little bit, that music sure does become part of who you are. One of the most important family traditions that I love are family gatherings. For so many of us who identify as Hispanic and or Latin, family is such an important part of our culture and our heritage. We get together for birthdays, holidays, we make up things just to get together and especially when our grandparents may get a little older i think we really strive to connect with them i finally remember sitting around my abuelita maria elena's lazy boy hearing stories of her childhood how she was the first of her family to go to an actual school or my abuelita Ide's wild days when she won a beauty pageant or when she started dating my grandfather abuelito julio who was the person that taught me how to drive. Now, while my grandparents are no longer with us, their pride and their culture really remains with me and the rest of our family. When we come together, love is at the center of it all, followed closely behind by delicious Ecuadorian food. We love our food and Ecuadorian food is amazing. My son who was born and is being raised here in the United States, he loves Ecuadorian food anything made with plantains, especially when they're fried. Before mi abuelita uh, Marielena passed away, one of my cousins actually uh, put together all of my grandmother's favorite dishes that she would make for us. And so now I'm the one that is making my abuelita ceviche, her locro de papa, and my favorite, her amazing and famous chocolate uh, almond mousse. So believe it or not, I learned about the Hispanic Heritage Month when I actually moved to the mainland in 2011. This is not a holiday or a period that we actually celebrate in Puerto Rico where I'm from or to my knowledge in other Latin American countries. However, I was thrilled to see that there's a particular period of the year, like a whole month in which our culture, it's honored and celebrated because I believe that there's a lot we have to offer. So for me to see that being done was a, uh, gave me a sense of pride and, uh, and joy that we would be seen as a important presence in, in the United States. So great job. I grew up in a trilingual Portuguese and Cuban household in the very diverse town of Sleepy Hollow, New York. 
At a young age, I was exposed to the vast diversity that existed within the Hispanic community. I have always appreciated the opportunities to connect on the things that united us and to learn about the many differences that create such a deep and beautiful tapestry within the Hispanic community. Personally, it's also a time I choose to pause in the busyness of daily day-to-day -day life and express gratitude for my parents and other family members who passed down such enriching and grounding traditions that I now have the privilege to pass down to my two little boys who are being raised in a Portuguese, Cuban, Mexican-American home. Today, me, uh, Hispanic Heritage Month, means honoring and celebrating my culture and most importantly, my family. Especially those who came before me and those who strive to make the world that I live in a more loving and tastier one.